Hey y'all, I never make videos about nutrition, but it's important. I keep seeing these ads on Twitter for all these like, basically slim fast drinks, which I actually have tried that. I used to drink protein drinks a lot, uh, but it kind of tears your stomach up, so be careful. But I just wanted to say, one thought I've always had is whoever loves going to the dentist eats ice cream and candy all the time. Whoever loves going to the doctor eats super unhealthy all the time. Uh, and you probably don't really love going to the dentist or the doctor. So you should be careful how you eat. In the book of Daniel, Daniel and his friends were the wisest men in all the land. And they told the king that they only wanted to eat vegetables and drink water. And they said they did not want any more of the king's meat or his wine. And they were the smartest men and the healthiest and the strongest. Which most people will think, how can you get strong just eating vegetables? I don't know, but they did. <laughs> you know, everybody's on a big protein kick now. Get your protein, get your meat, get your cheese. Cheese is actually really bad for you. You probably should avoid it if you can. Meat. What does the Bible say about meat? It says, be not among drunkards and gluttonous eaters of meat. So, like, obviously it's okay to eat a little bit of meat, but you don't want to be a gluttonous eater of meat. Don't go overboard on the meat. Follow the food pyramid. You know, grains, whole grains should be the main thing that you consume, which it's hard to find whole grains. Wheat thins are whole grains. Uh, certain kinds of bread. Dave's Bread is a brand that is really good bread. Um, fruits should be the next thing. Fruits and vegetables, but I always prefer fruits over vegetables. Apples and bananas, grapes, oranges, obviously are great. Plums are my favorite. Okay, and then vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are hard to eat. Carrots, baby carrots with ranch. That's always a great snack. Uh... <laughs> Salads are good. I really like like the pre-made salads that you can get at like H-E-B here in Texas or Walmart has the pre-made. It's like a salad bowl and then they got like all the little toppings in there. Anyways, that's like the only way that I really actually enjoy eating vegetables or veggie trays like with the little snap peas. Those are good. Broccoli, cauliflower. I love cauliflower. Like if you get like a whole cauliflower and cut it up, Put it in a little baggies, but make sure you eat it before it spoils because it smells really bad. But cut up cauliflower. It's really cheap. It's like $2 for cauliflower. And then eat that with ranch. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Best snack ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the more that you fill your stomach with good food, the less you'll be craving junk food. Which is a nice analogy for the more you fill your brain with the word of the Lord, with the Bible, and fill your soul and your heart with worship music, the less you want worldly things. Um, yeah, y'all should go buy some cauliflower. Cut up some celery, eat it with peanut butter. My mom used to do that a lot. Celery is really cheap, it's like $2. People always say, oh, it's so expensive to eat healthy. No, it's not. It's expensive to eat fast food all the time. That's what's expensive. Um, what else? Tomatoes are good, the little tomatoes. It's good to put tomato on everything, honestly. If you make a burger or a sandwich, or you make a quesadilla, just slice up some tomato and put that in there. Tomatoes, like, extremely good for you. Obviously, spinaches. I used to make pasta, like Alfredo pasta, and put, like, spinach in there, like frozen spinach, or fresh spinach, and you just cook it in with the pasta. And then add in like some ground beef or something. That's really good. What else? I don't know. My parents were really big on broccoli and spinach. Broccoli is good if you cover it with cheese. Even though cheese is bad. But oh well. Just a spoonful of sugar makes medicine go down. Just a spoonful of cheese makes the broccoli go down. Um, I recommend that you avoid pizza. Because the bread. You don't want to have like tons of bread. And I heard in a sermon once that our modern bread is really contaminated. And so the bread, your body doesn't know how to digest it. So the bread literally just sits in your stomach. And like it just sits there. And it doesn't get like pushed through your system. And then it's just like it 
totally destroys your stomach. At least that's a theory. So watch out for bread. I do really like bagels and cream cheese, but I don't know. They're probably bad for me. Um, what else? Salads are good. Go make some salads or buy the pre-made salads. And you will live long and prosper. And yeah, beverages. Try to only drink water and coffee. I mean, coffee's good just to keep you happy. Um, sweet tea's good. The sugar's bad for your teeth, though. Soda is terrible for your teeth and all of your internal organs. Don't drink soda, ever. It's evil. I swear, soda was, soda was created by Satan. Um, what else? Juice is good. Grape juice. A lot of people mainly get their <laughs> fruit, their fruits and vegetables through juice, which you can with, like, the V8 juices. Um, the V8 juices, some of them are mixed fruit and veggies as a juice. Those are great. Um, what else? God cares about how you eat. God cares about you being healthy. So try and be healthy. Try and cut out all the junk food and the candy and the ice cream. And good luck. God loves you all. God bless.